Hey guys, it's V for Vitrano, and it's time for another Cassidy Q and A. Woohoo! Um, Cassidy has a new single out. It's called I Am Invincible. I've talked a lot about it at ListenItsVitrano.com and in some of my previous videos. Um, so if you haven't already heard it, you need to go check it out immediately because it's a great new song. Thanks for posting about it so much. Of, it was so nice of you. Of course, and I mean it's pretty exciting because your fans have been waiting for music. Yes. And in our last video, a lot of the questions were about when are they going to get the new music. So That's right. You guys have it now. Yay! Yes. Moving on up. Like always, we uh, took to Twitter to ask you guys your questions for Cassidy. Since I already know a lot about her, I am speaking on your behalf, um, getting the answers that you guys want to know. So we're going to go to Twitter and see what you guys have to say. Alibo8, Emily, wants to know, when are you coming back to your hometown? And then she says, El my why? Or L M Y. M Y. I just don't know a lot of the online lingo. L M Y. Love my. Love my. <laughs> Yay. We don't know that one. Oh, uh, but... sorry. Um, hometown West Palm Beach, Florida. Um, hopefully I get to play in West Palm come the fall. So check CassidyPope.com for all of the tour dates. That's right. David wants to know: Will your album be out in time for Christmas? It will not. Christmas is coming up. I have so many songs still that I need to sort sift through, through and, and, and figure out which ones I want to be on the album. So it will probably be towards the beginning of next year. Angie Wu. Woo. Woo. She wants to know, <laughs> what's your favorite memory that's happened since going solo besides meeting me? Of course, that's like top of the list. Yes. Um, I would have to say, the first meeting coming to Nashville with my record label, mm -hmm. Republic Nashville, that was a pretty surreal moment for me. Edgardo wants to know, are there any songs that you've gotten to write or record that you have an emotional attachment to? Definitely. Hi Edgardo, I love you. Um, yes, absolutely. There is one song that I've been playing live that um, fans seem to really be reacting to. It's called Alien. Mm -hmm. And it's basically about just being different and never fitting into one specific group and always feeling like you don't, you're not really one thing because society makes us feel like we have to choose something to be. And um, I feel like all my fans understand that. So yeah. that's, that's a song that's very dear to me. Estevan wants to know, do you plan on releasing any more music this year? Or it's, is I Am Invincible it? I feel like releasing another song before the year end will take away from I Am Invincible. And I don't really want to do that. So, But I'll keep playing new songs live. So if you come to a show or go on YouTube, you'll see some new stuff. But if you really are dying for to hear some more of Cassidy's beautiful voice, there is another song coming out before the end of the year. Oh yeah, I sang a duet with Chris Young, which was so exciting. It's called Think of You, and it's going to be on his album. So. Check out his And album. that'll be out before the end of the year, so yeah. there's some new Cassidy music for you. Yeah. Megan with two G's wants to know, how's your new album going to be different from Frame by Frame? Is it going to be more country rock vibe like I Am Invincible? Yes, definitely. I, a lot of the songs have that kind of empowering, inspirational lyric behind them. I'm a getting a little more sassy with the new stuff, a little bit more confident. Sassity. Yes, yeah, sassity. Yes, my alter ego. Um, and musically, I really love working with Julian Raymond, the producer who produced I'm Invincible, and Scott was a huge part of the process in recording that as well. So I feel like if we stick together for the rest of the album, it's going to sound very similar. So Ella B wants to know, any touring plans for the near future? Yes, definitely. Um, this year I will be continuing to play a lot of festivals and a lot of fairs and I have a ton of promo that's coming up um, surrounding I Am Invincible. So really the tours will be starting next year. You have said that breakfast is your favorite meal. Mm. So where is your favorite place to go? Oh my goodness. Well, I mean, Garden this could... Brunch Cafe is... I mean, that's in Nashville. But... That's in Nashville. This could be anywhere. Um, anywhere? The world is your oyster, but you don't like oysters. I do, but I really, well, you got it gave me food poisoning once. You used to not like them. We used to bond on it. We, I, yeah, and then I started loving them, and then I got food poisoning, and now I stay away from them because I'm scarred. Yeah, so we can still bond on it. Yes, we can. Okay. Nashville really is the best when it comes to brunch. They know how to do it. Yeah. Garden Brunch Cafe is phenomenal. Mm -hmm. We've given them a shout out before. Uh-huh. 
and the secret is out because you can barely get into that place now. That's true. Yeah. Yeah. But it's good, so if you come to Nashville, check it out. You have to. Maddie wants to know, what is your favorite TV show? Well, you know how much I watch TV. Well, I yeah. have a lot of shows. We bond on a lot of them. Yes. Um, but if I had to pick one right now that I'm watching, it would have to be Ray Donovan. You would love it. It's so good. Okay. True Detective was incredible. The first season, Breaking Bad, obviously, was insane. Which, did you see? I never watched. Oh, I couldn't. It's so good. It was too much. Oh. But right now, Ray Donovan, all the way. Awesome. Nina wants to know who is your celebrity crush. Now, I think I know this one, right, Leo? Yes. But, there's new development. I saw Ant-Man. Uh-oh. And I, I do now have a crush on Paul Rudd. There is something about a man who is funny and good looking and seems very kind and very nice that makes for a good crush, celebrity crush. So you just left Leo out in the cold. You just let him sink with the Titanic. Oh, that's sad. Too I didn't, I didn't. I did it, it's too soon. Um, <laughs> I didn't, I still love Leo, but. But Paul Rudd is coming in. He's coming in. He's looking better than ever. He's got, he's got abs. And then Lily wants to know, this is the last question we're gonna do today. Lily wants to know, is Alien, which you talked about earlier, an album track? Definitely. I mean, that's, that's a very special song to me. It's very autobiographical. Definitely. And I would be doing my fans a disservice by not putting it on the album because it explains me so perfectly. And it's so good. Thank you. Yes. As you guys know, we're gonna be doing these videos more regularly, so if we didn't get to your question this time, I, ha I have them stored away, and I'm gonna try to get to them next time. Um, but you can keep your questions coming in to Twitter, at Sam Vetrano, hashtag. Uh, <laughs> Hashtag, Hashtag. listen is Vetrano. But that is all the questions that we're gonna do today. And Erin, we did see your question about the whip nay nay dance, but neither one of us know how to do it, so. I have no idea what that means. We can't do a dance off, and I mean, let's be real, if we were to do a dance off, I think we would know who would win. But you know who, who can do a dance off? <laughs> this one right here. <laughs> She keeps all of Cassidy's secrets. That's why her mane is so big. Yeah, she's my best friend. <laughs> okay, that's what I'm Oh, okay. Jane, Jane. Jane. <laughs> Time out. T.O. 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 N.G. No good. Mm, no, N.G. No good. A little shout out to the comeback. Well, that was another installment of Cassidy Q&A. So thanks again for coming by. I know you're busy now with the new single. If you guys don't have it, be sure to go get it. The link is down below for I Am Invincible, which is on iTunes now. Thanks for all of your questions. We always appreciate you guys uh, chatting with us. But until next time, it's been Cassidy Pope and V for Vetrano, and I'm out. <laughs>